Hello and welcome. In this video series, we'll set up Citrix DAS, formerly known as the Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop Service. This first video covers the initial step of creating a resource location and adding two cloud connectors for high availability. Resource locations are logical groupings of machines that deliver desktops and apps to users from public cloud or on-premises environments. Cloud connectors serve as a channel of communication between the Citrix cloud management plane and your resource location. Once logged in as an admin to citrix.cloud.com, click the hamburger menu on the top left and select Resource Locations. Click Add a Resource Location to create a new one. Give it a descriptive name, like Cloud East Production. Only admins will see this name, and it can be changed later if needed. Click the plus sign next to Cloud Connectors, and then click Download to download the installation file. The Learn More link is a product documentation page that provides key details such as sizing the Cloud Connector virtual machine, operating system supported, and Active Directory requirements. Once you have your domain joined Windows Server virtual machines ready, log on to one as a full administrator and run the Cloud Connector install that you downloaded earlier. Note that you may be prompted to disable IE Enhanced Security Configuration if it's enabled. You can turn it back on after the install. Connectivity to Citrix Cloud is tested. Should this test fail, refer to Citrix Docs to ensure the necessary firewall rules are in place. If using a proxy server for internet access, you can configure it here as well. Now, click the button and sign in with your Citrix Cloud Administrator credentials. Choose a Citrix Cloud environment, if you have access to multiple. And if you had multiple resource locations, you'd select that here as well. Click Install. The installer will now install the necessary components and then test connectivity of those components to the back-end Citrix Cloud Management Plane. It's normal for this process to take several minutes. Once the check completes, you should see a successful connectivity test message. Click Close to complete the process. If the check didn't complete successfully, refer to Citrix Docs to confirm the necessary firewall rules are in place. After the installation succeeds, go back to Citrix Cloud and refresh the Resource Locations page. Click the orange shaded area for cloud connectors under your resource location to verify that your first cloud connector server is shown with an active green state. Congratulations! You now have your first cloud connector up and running. Now, install a second cloud connector server for high availability as the warning notification requests. To do that, repeat the previous steps on the other domain joined Windows Server that you prepared. After the installation succeeds, go back to the Resource Locations page in Citrix Cloud and ensure that two cloud connectors are shown. Nice job! You just created two cloud connectors for your resource location. This concludes Step 1 of setting up Citrix DAS within Citrix Cloud. In the next step, we will install the Citrix Virtual Delivery Agent.